So let's have a look at standard results that you've got to know for some special cases when you differentiate functions. These are known as standard derivatives. Uh, the first one, which I mentioned in a previous video, is y equals sine x. And dy bar dx, the gradient function, will be equal to cos x. Now 9 times out of 10, in fact 99 times out of 100, you are just allowed to quote. If you've got y equals sine x, then it's a standard thing to quote dy bar dx is cos x. That result can be proven by first principles, and in fact, for your year 13 exam, you do need to be able to do that. But in this little video, all I'm selling you is learn y equals sine x, dy bar dx is cos x. It's a standard derivative result. The second one is y equals cos x that you need to know. And again, learn this off by heart, dy bar dx is equal to negative sine x. Again, that can be proven by first principles. And for year 13, again, you need to be able to do that proof. But that's for another video, another time. So dy bar dx is minus sine x if y is cos x. And for y equals sine x, dy bar dx is just positive cos x. Third result, well, sine x cos x, what about y equals tan x? Well, y equals tan x, dy bar dx is equal to, now this is a strange result as it stands at the moment, because you won't have seen this up to now, it's sec squared x. You just learn that off by heart. Now, <clears throat> you might say, what on earth is sec, because we haven't done the trigonometry for year 13 yet. Sec x, it's very simple. Sec x is another trig term, which is the same as the cos trig term upside down. So sec x is the same as 1 over cos x. In terms of a right angle triangle, remember cos x was adjacent over hypotenuse. So sec x, if you like, is the same as hypotenuse over adjacent in terms of a right angle triangle scenario. But it doesn't matter where that, where that comes from at all for the moment. We're going to be doing that in trigonometry in the future. You'll be used to using sec in the future. For now, just learn off by heart y equals tan x, dy bar dx is sec squared x. Now notice it's sec squared x. That is really the same thing as sec x all squared. So the whole thing is squared. And the shorthand version of writing that down is sec squared x. Just learn it off by heart for now. This proof here from first principles is not needed. Okay, the fourth thing that you need to know as a standard result is what about the exponential function y equals e to the x? Really easy one here. Again, it can be proven from first principles. You don't need to know this proof off by heart. You need to simply learn that it stays exactly the same. Well, that wasn't very difficult. You don't need to know the proof from first principles at all for year 13 for that. So dy bar dx equals e to the x. So that's a standard result you need to learn. The fifth one that you need to know is, what about y equals log to base e of x? And <clears throat> that's ln x, log to base e of x. A standard result, again you don't need to learn where it comes from, is that dy bar dx equals 1 over x. And that needs to be learned off by heart again. And I would think the final one for now, at any rate, that you need to know is that sometimes you might have y equals log to base e of x plus a number. So this number might be positive or negative, doesn't matter, and it can be any number, so I'll just call that number k. We're going to introduce modulus signs here. If you're not really sure about modulus signs, don't worry about it for the moment. Um, I'll explain that in another video when we talk about log and exponential work. It's just log of x plus a number. And dy bar dx will simply be 1 over the thing inside those modulus signs. And that is a standard result you learn off by heart. So in this final one, for example, if I gave you y equals log to base e of x minus 3, then dy bar dx will be equal to just 1 over x minus 3, and it's as simple as that. OK, there are six standard results in this little video, and you need to be happy 
that you can quote these at any point in time. The first two you'll need to be able to prove from first principles for your year 13 exam. The others you just learn off by heart. Okay, in the next video we'll have a look at how we can uh, possibly combine these standard results with either the product rule or the quotient rule.